<laughs> what advice you got for the cats that's in the game now? Yeah. What advice you got knowing that you are the best in the game and the cats coming up in the game? What yeah. advice you got for them now? If you in, if you in the game, you can take those same skills, man, and flip them. I found three books that 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 uh, for me was like a road map. And what the books did was it showed me myself in the dope game. These books broke down me in the dope game, but showed me how I could flip it to any game that I want to go in, you know, to the movies. Like right now, I just left Atlantic Records and we talking about a, 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 a label deal. It showed me how I could do movies, websites, and whatever game you want to go, you can take them same skills. It was the richest man in Babylon, think and grow rich, and as a man think. Them books is mandatory for our community, man. We definitely got to start reading those books. Yeah. Uh, uh, I read um, Think and Grow Rich. You read Think and Grow Rich? You got to read it like 10 times, though, to really, yeah, really... Yeah, I read them like 20 times. Yeah. And uh, they enable me to do the things that I'm doing right now, to travel the country when I ain't supposed to be. You know, I'm still on paper, so technically I ain't supposed to be traveling, but they enable me to do the things that I'm doing right now, you know, yeah. to hook up with people that I'm hooking up with and make things happen. And uh, I recommend it. Everybody read them. And uh, you know, dudes in the game, man. You, you know, you you a sharp dude. You just gotta flip the game and 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 bring it to something legit. And if anybody needs some help, I'm here to help you. You know what I'm saying? My my services is wide open, man. I, I ain't gonna close myself to where I ain't gonna be coming to the streets. You know, uh, a lot of them dudes when they get their money, they don't come back to the streets. But I always felt comfortable being in the streets. So you know, hit me up. If you need some advice once you start reading the book, and I'm even thinking about what I'm gonna try to do is start on my website like a class where we sit down, read the book, study, and make plans together. Because it's really about us coming together, man. We definitely gotta come together as a community to really get this paper because everybody else working together except us. You're right about that unity. And Minister Farrakhan, you know what I'm saying? That's one. It's one of my heroes, man. I love him to death. Uh, he's saying if we all come together, we can control all this. So that's what's up, Africans, man. Africans, Africans got it. Puerto Ricans doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we the only one that. And in LA, the Mexicans, you know, they almost own LA now. For real, they they coming from Mexico by the droves, and they all working together, you know. And then they get the job, they ain't gonna let no more blacks in. Yeah, that's okay. You know, once they get in, they gonna bring their cousin in, their uncle, their auntie, and then we out of work. So you know, we gotta start creating our own and and, and protecting our own, man. That's real to be talk. Realistic with you right now, I'm 20 years old, Rick, and with, from my own experience, as far as being an African American male in the society. We under a lot of different pressure. We, we under a lot of scrutiny, and we walk. And outside of saying we walk around with a lot of uh, bottled up emotions and frustration that we don't have the chance necessarily to vent. So a lot of us lash out or react to all the stuff that you know society doesn't create the outlet for us to vent. Uh, a lot of us is under pressure as fathers, you know, just trying to provide an income and a legitimate way of life for our family. Of course, you know, the job market is, is tight right now, so not everybody is working. So with that being said, you know, it's a lot of brothers out here looking for guidance and looking for positions and trying to just find themselves and boss up to become the grown. Do you know, get on a grown man shit and handle yeah, Absolutely, business. absolutely. And in a nutshell, we suffer, we, we suffer quietly, you know what I'm saying, from the backdrop of things. Well, you know what, the deck always been stacked against the black man anyway since he come over there. We the only people to ever come over here and change. You know what I'm saying? So that put us at a disadvantage right off the bat. And then they know that if they smash the black man, then they don't have to worry about nobody else because we're the ones that protect our communities. You know, we are the leaders of, of, of our household. So if they get rid of us, lock us up in jail, you know, like they got so many of us, man. You go in and you see young cats in there, blacks, 18 years old, 19 years old. Yeah. You don't see no whites in there like that. Nah. They give them 20 years for two ounces of crack. You know, so I believe that the whole crack game was a setup anyway from the beginning. You know, with the bushes, they need to raise some money, so they kill two birds with one stone. Mm. Okay, we're gonna bring it over here, let them sell the dope. We're gonna take all the money, all the property from them that they get anyway when they get it. You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna lock them up. So now it's like killing two birds with one stone. You know, we get the, the, the young black man off the street, the undesirables that we don't want on the street anyway, and we're gonna get the money. So you know, it's, the it's all. system is a big, um, it's a big hustle. It's a big, um, 
it's a, it's a, it's a way to, uh, it's to generate time. funds. The whole, the whole system is it's a system. system. Because you know what, realistically, like if 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 realistically everybody became nine to five workers and got into a conventional lifestyle, we became educated and went to school and everybody was doing the right thing, then police officers, judges, and things of that nature, they wouldn't have jobs. So negativity is promoted to the youth for them to get out here and pr promote them and influence them to negative, because that's an industry and that's a um, that's a market in which people make money off of. So if every, all of us brothers was out here doing the right thing and everybody was following uh, following the right path, then that'll put cops out of business, that'll put judges, there wouldn't be no need for them. So crime actually pays. So that's why in, a, in the fastest society, it pays society, for them, pay it pays yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah, not, not for us. Pay us. Exactly. <laughs> so that's why you see a lot of negativity and promoted and influenced to have the youth you know, to act the way that they do. That's my purpose. But look at what they're doing with the rap game. Yeah, that's you know I mean, the rap game started, started off as a way for us to express what was going on with us, but now all they're it's rapping about started. is selling dope and, yeah. you know, how many cars they got. So now yeah. they got all the kids, and this is all they want to do. And then the dudes who rapping it ain't they never ain't sold no dope. Lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? They was yeah, a yeah, correctional yeah. officer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what was the summer deposit thing that you spent with your money? Some deposit thing that you spent with your money. I know what he on. said. I can go with what he said though because he said like the law is like a like a business because it's a business. Like you go to court, you can go to court, you get a bullshit ticket. You know what I'm saying? Like you get caught riding on the riding the, riding the bike on the sidewalk. They charge you $125, they give you a ticket, you gotta pay. Yeah, but you gotta judge me like, oh, man, well, nah, fuck it, give me, give me 75. Yeah. Like, you nigga go in there and make about 10, 15,000 motherfucking dollars that one day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we this only tax free as long as we stay tickets. within the confines of the law. Our free liberties yeah. as individuals. Yeah. We, 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 the, the liberties as human beings, but the, the, human, the, the human nature of us as, as, as humanity, just us being born on the planet Earth, we are free. We are free. Uh, moral agents of, of the almighty of you know what I'm saying so the laws that govern the land we only free up to a, cer to a certain extent as, as long as we stay in the confines of the law so when we out and about this is like a free jail out here you can go where you come and please but as long as you stay with the confines of the law you can continue to rock so this is not a it's, it's not doors, free though. it was not really freedom out here and as long as you it, even when it comes to freedom of speech you can say only but so much things but as soon as you start saying things that you know rub people the wrong way you know, you could be touched or somebody remove you or do away with you. So we only have certain liberties up until a certain extent. So you got to be mindful and use wisdom on how you, you know, maneuver through, you know, through the through the society. Yeah, but Especially the African American male. Well, well, it's like a, well, it's like a, well, it's like a maze, though, man. I mean, this is the game of chess, baby. Chess game. You understand what I'm saying? You got to know how to move out here to survive out here. You understand what I'm saying? Because like it's like we walking on. Yeah, we walking part of life. Saying, like, Basically, what you were saying. Man made, made laws, man. Well, that is dealing with man made laws. Man man-made laws is, is, let me tell you something, man. God said he's the only one to judge. So man-made laws is goes in effect to satisfy the person that they want to satisfy. They, 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 they not, they, they not, they, they, they don't do anything for us. Anything is made for control. Well, we got to do, though, we just got to, we got to come together, though, and free ourselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can't, we can't depend on them to free us. Cause they you know, because they ain't going to free us. They, they, they ain't never had our best interests at all. <laughs> no, they want to keep us as, as no, true stuff. So, Everybody smiles in our face and take that green dollar out of hand, but then when that, that money is exchanged, they send that money over to their country, they build up their the economy, they build up the resources of the, or their town, and we're left at a lesser standpoint. We always render powerless in society based on our money's being spent outside our, com our community. So initially, as 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 a people on the whole, we got to come back to the collectiveness of each other and start investing the money back into our community, so we could boss up, uh, create employment for our people, because our money is always going outside the community instead of building up our community. When you go when you walk up and down Lenox Avenue, you won't see one black-owned business on Lenox Avenue. And Harlem was a predominantly African American place at one point in time, but in the present day, you got all the foreigners, everybody capitalizing off of us. And here it is. We don't have nothing to call our own. Yeah, yeah, a lot of us were earthed out process. of our neighborhood. You know, we've been Americanized. Yeah. You know, we've been we've been taught not to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? They they've been. I mean, Jim Crow was a mother. You know, you ever read the Jim Crow? Jim Crow laws. Yeah. Yeah. So when you read that, you can see why we in the state that we in right now because he told them. When he when he sold it to him, that it would last for generations and generations. Oh, you, you, you talking about the, um, the Willie Lynch theory, how it's supposed to last? Yeah. Exactly. So and it, it actually lasted until this present day. It's still lasting. We the still under the, the same. Elder, the, 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 man, the male against the female, the light against the dark, of the house. And like right now, we ain't gonna work if it ain't no money involved. True you know what I'm saying? So they print the money, so they know if. 
you don't give them no money, they ain't gonna do no work. And it should be totally the opposite. You know, what I learned is if you do the work, the money gonna come. You know, like right now, I've been going around the country doing what I do, you know, speaking and, and, and just, just, just helping. And I ain't tripping on the money yet. When I went and did my movie, I could have took the money right off the bat and sold out. But I know that when you start taking their money, they own you. You know, that's like a bunch of our politicians and our athletes and stuff like that. They only go for far and say only but so much because they've been bought. Because they've been taking the money. When they come forth, that the funds and the resources will be snatched right up. Exactly. So they can't do what got to be done. So they want to be comfortable and keep that life with us. They stay in the backdrop and they go with the punch. So it's time for us to start working without the money.